Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a continuation in my liquid lipstick review series. And today's brand is the Lip Kit by Kylie Jenner. I actually just got this in the mail yesterday, kind of late, and I tried to do this review then, um, but Keegan and I went to get a Christmas tree, and while I was taking it off of the roof, I really smacked myself in the face, which really kind of smeared my makeup and other things, so I didn't think it was fair, so I'm redoing it today. So if you guys have been watching the series for any length of time, you probably can recite my shame spiel I do every time. Just like always, I have exfoliated my lips with my Ivy Anderson lip scrub before I did my makeup, and then I went on with my Kaplan MD Lip 20 Bomb to moisturize my lips while I did my makeup um, to allow my lips to really drink it in. And now I'm just gonna remove the excess got this in the color Candy K, which is one of three colors available. This one looked like the lightest kind of pinky nude shade they offered. The kit does come with a liquid lipstick and a pencil. So now I'm just going to line my lips with the pencil. I'm going to zoom in too so you can see the application of the pencil. Let me sit up on my foot here. There we go, the lip pencil was nice and creamy. It doesn't really tug at my lips at all. Now I'm gonna go in with the lipstick. Since I already smelled this yesterday, it's not a first impressions. This does smell like a very strong butterscotch, like very strong, almost too much for me to the point where it's like a little nauseating, but I mean, it's a good smell if you like butterscotch. Now I'm just gonna fill in my lips. There, if you see, it went on very nice and it's not streaky. It's a very thin kind of moussey texture. I would describe this as a thinner Stila Stay All Day formula. Now I'm gonna pick up some of my um, Bare Skin Concealer, which is that serum -y concealer by Bare Minerals on my MAC 195 brush. This has been like a game changer for me for cleaning up the lines on my lips because it's so fluidy, it blends really well. Final application, I really do like this color against my skin tone. I'm glad I went with more of the pink nude than the brown nude because I am neutral leaning on the cool side of neutral so I think that this color complements my skin a lot better you guys know the drill it's always the same I'm going to give this a total of eight hours worth of untouched wear I will not retouch this I will not apply a gloss I will leave my lips as is for the next eight hours and go about my day I'll do my first check-in in four hours and then the last check-in in the additional eight hours at the end of this video I will do the kiss test to show if they are transfer proof and I will also show if they layer well if they've worn away in any areas in my first check-in, I always give you guys all the details, the cost, the shipping. Spoiler alert, it was 14 days. <laughs> um, I will give you claims that the brands make. I will also address some rumors that they could be like other formulas. I will also show you some comparable swatches to what I have currently in my collection. It's currently 1044. I will see you guys in four hours. Hey guys, it's 2.51, four hours after initial application of this lipstick. As always, I will zoom in to show you the wear. First, let me tell you what I ate. So um, I've only drank this much of my iced chai tea, and I did have a croissant that, oh, a chocolate croissant that I ripped up into bite-sized pieces and put in my mouth so I wasn't like chomping on it like you would kind of like a sandwich or something. These have remained very comfortable on my lips. Um, a little bit dry on this inside rim, but just ever so slightly. See, nothing really. Now let's get into some of the details on these guys. So obviously this is Kylie Jenner's lipstick line that she came out with called the Lip Kits. To the best of my understanding, they're only available online right now, although I am assuming if you go into any of the Dash stores or something, you can probably find them there. The cost for these is $29, which I personally do consider high, although you do get a lip pencil as well. Shipping on these was astronomical, $7.95. International shipping is $13.95. For $7.95 shipping, this is the package it came in. I'm not going to show you the front because my address is on there, but it's just this plain cardboard box that you just rip open and there was nothing else in here besides this. There was no packing invoice, nothing, I don't know. I just figure for $7.95 shipping, the packaging would be a little better. 
I'll tell you how long it took me to get this and that's another reason. The website has recently been updated to um, since the influx of orders they got that says no exchanges, no return, no refunds, all sales are final, which in all honesty, when it's an indie company that does that, I completely understand because while you're getting going, people can really be um, fickle with what they order. And so I totally understand a startup company not being able to have the resources to refund everyone's money because maybe they overpurchased and decided, oh, you know what, I should probably get my money back and send that back. It's harder for small co companies to absorb that kind of cost. The Kardashians are many times over multi-millionaires. So in my mind, I just feel like that doesn't really instill a lot of faith in your product to me. Yeah, no, it could be because it's a numbers game, right? You have like 55 million plus Instagram followers and stuff. You never know how many people just to be vindictive could order them and then want to return them. So I don't know. So with this product, shipping and tax, the total came to $39.13. Now making these the most expensive liquid lipstick I have tried. Website does not take PayPal, which I do not like. It is only credit card. And from my understanding right now, I do not see any discount codes available for these. So obviously you just saw the outer box it came in. This is um, what these two items come in. It's just, it kind of looks like lips that have like a little metal grill on the bottom here and kind of dripping, I would say chocolate. You think if it looks dripping like this, I almost think it'd be called like lip paints or something, not lip kit, I don't know. Sorry guys, delivery just came. <laughs> So the lip, liquid lipstick comes in this clear tube. It, uh, the cap is black and it looks like it's kind of dripping down the top of this. It has her name signed with a little heart, like kind of what you do when you're in elementary school, I guess, I don't know. Um, the applicator on this is a little longer than um, most of the other brands. It's on par with Stila. The lip pencil is in um, the stick form and this is plastic, which I thought at first um, one of my viewers had mentioned that they couldn't turn this up like the NARS ones that you twist this and I thought maybe the tip twisted but it doesn't. I did stick this. I did stick this and a pencil sharpener and you are able to sharpen this. You just need to do it with a metal pe pencil sharpener. It does state on the box that these are made in the USA. The lipstick you are getting 0.11 fluid ounces, which is on par with like Anastasia Beverly Hills. And for the lip pencil, you are getting 0.03 ounces. On the bottom of this label, there is a little jar with the open symbol showing there's a 12 month shelf life on this. So from the time you open it, you should use it within 12 months. Same with the lip liner. Here's the part of these that really rubbed me the wrong way. So I ordered this the minute it went live on 11.30 from the webpage. The webpage kept crashing, which is understandable. A lot of people were obviously flooding the site, which I have to say, it's like, again, due to your financial backing, you think you would have prepared for this. These were hyped up for so long. There was even a countdown. You have that many subscribers. You figure you kind of common sense would have told you to prepare for such an influx of traffic, but no. So I submitted my, I got it in my car. I hit submit a few times and it just kept like saying time out, time out, time out. And I was like, eh, whatever. Um, I did check my email though and I did get a confirmation even though it never showed it went through on the site. And I also, my card was billed immediately. So I was like, okay, I have one. So back to the part that bothered me. I ordered these on 11.30. I never got any kind of shipping notification or tracking. Although the website does state that you will get it, that your order will be processed and shipped within 24 to 36 hours. Never got anything. So about 10 days in, I started getting concerned because the site was so glitchy. I thought, you know, maybe I was billed and even though I got a confirmation, I'm like, maybe I'm not getting a product because I don't know, maybe the site was glitchy. So I emailed their customer service to ask like, hey guys, did my order actually go through because I was billed, but I, I haven't seen anything. As soon as I emailed, I got an automated response back, which I will show here in the screen, basically stating that they've had a ton of shipping issues and that they were all going out and tracking was gonna be resent or something, which I still, I checked my junk folder, spam folder. I never got any tracking. Like I'm pretty computer savvy. I, I, I know how to check my junk mail. It wasn't in there. So come 1214, which was the other day, I emailed them again and I said, hey guys, look, at this point now your, your Instagram has been updated to say that a new restock is coming. I said, but I still haven't even got what I ordered. I said, did I not get one? And how do I just get my money back? I'm like, because at this point, it's two weeks out. And this is the response I got. No sorry or anything like that, just a tracking number. Since all of this craziness has been going on, the site has now been amended to say it will be USPS or DHL. 
Um, I finally only know that I got this because I got a notification on my third party app that I track my packages with letting me know that this was delivered. So for three days of the days that we're posting about this tracking, it was showing that it was still in Compton, California, which is down in the LA area. So 3913 bought me a liquid lipstick, a lip liner, plain packaging that took a half a month to get to me. I wasn't very impressed with that. Again, if it was an independent company, I'm always willing to cut slack. And I don't think I'm one of those psycho people that you see on social media that are losing their mind talking about where their package is a day later. I mean, I waited 15 days. It, I mean, depending on how you look at it, 14 to 15, since they had the entire day after you ordered and well into the next day that it was delivered. But Currently, they're available in three shades. I will show a picture here. I got um, Candy K, which was their more pink colored nude. Then they had a more brown nude, and then they have a true brown as well. I did see on her Instagram that they were planning shades for this coming year, but no, no information about what those shades will be. She does say on her website that these are not tested on animals, which is nice. Also on her website, um, she claims that she's been working on these for two years in product development, which I'll tell you why I think that that's a little hogwash. I mainly wanted this because their ingredients are not listed online. I wanted to see them on here because I heard a lot of rumor that these were ColourPop's repackaged. You guys didn't hear, Nikki Tutorials posted something um, because Kylie Jenner had posted a picture of herself at the ColourPop factory with a hairnet on that wasn't even covering her hair, so what good that does, I, I don't know. <laughs> but um, she had said that she was there because she was visiting the girls and that they were her friends. I'm like, I don't know about you guys, but when I visit my friends, we go out for dinner, drinks, some kind of entertainment. I don't put a hairnet on and walk through their makeup factory. I don't know, I, I just found that odd, but I'm gonna tell you why I think she was there. So let's touch on some of the ingredients now, guys. Okay, so they have solvents in here, fragrance, emollients, thickening agents, sunscreen, preservatives, moisturizers, surfactants, emulsifiers, uh, moisturizers, and more antioxidants. Nothing in here that would cause me any concern for putting it on my lips. Same thing with the lip pencil. Now let's get into some of the rumors that are floating around about the brand already. I mean, it just launched, but there's already some out there. So I did some analysis of the ingredients across a few different brands, uh, one of which obviously was the color pop that everyone was showing. I'll show a picture right here of what people were comparing it to, saying that the colors were identical. Right now I'm gonna show a picture as well of what the ingredients are for the lip kit, as well as what they are for the color pop ultra matte lipsticks. They only share two of the same ingredients, um, so they are nothing alike in formula. They're not just color pop repackaged. Now, why I think she was there, um, I'm gonna show you an ingredient list right here as well. One for the lip kit pencil, as well as one for the ColourPop lip pencils. They are identical. The ColourPop one does have a few other ingredients in it, but the ColourPop has the same plastic outer um, kind of casing in there. I am 99.9% .9 sure that ColourPop is private labeling her lip pencils, as well as the same order. Again, ColourPop does have a few extra like preservatives and other things in their lipsticks, but um, just, just to let you guys know. So I'm pretty sure that's why she was there. It wasn't the lipstick, it were these. A lot of you guys have asked me to review the Milani Amore Matte Lip Creams, and I've told you I can't because um, Milani slash Giordana are in fact the same company and it's one of the brands that my company for work represents professionally. I currently do not have any accounts that carry the line because most of my accounts are full service hair distributors as well as um, nail accounts. So I don't really have any um, OTCs retail accounts that would be selling Milani. So I don't get any samples from it since I don't have any open accounts. And when those lip creams came out, they weren't exclusive to Walgreens. Um, now since they're sell online and a few other places. But what I can tell you, there are two ingredients. I'll show a picture here of the Amori Matte Lip Creams as well as the lip kits. And I will show you that two ingredients are very similar and those ones I have highlighted and the corresponding color so you can see they act as the same exact chemical in the formula and as well as there's only two other ingredients that are slight variations. Now granted they are not listed in the same exact order but pretty close and 
I mean, again, you gotta look at it as like a cake, right? Just because something has the same exact ingredients, if they're in a different level, they're going to wear different. With that being said, they share almost identical ingredients as well as the Lime Crime Velveteens, except Kylie Jenner's, um, they have more lip conditioners, heavier uh, concentrations, the ones that are up top, than the Lime Crime do. But they share almost identical ingredients as well. Although this one is a lot more creamy and moussey, this one is a lot more liquidy. I will also say that the Lime Crime feel a lot more dry on my lips than this currently does. I just wanted to let you guys know. So, since people were um, speculating, this is my little jar of liquid lipsticks, my ColourPop one that just came in. People were speculating about the similarity between the two colors. I wanted to, um, I'm gonna do a take two review, so I picked this Clueless, since that's what everyone was saying, that Candy K was like Clueless. They're not anything alike. I will show you right here. Okay, so right here I'm going to put the, this is Clueless by ColourPop. And then maybe when they're first wet, you could kind of think maybe. And then this one right here is Candy K. Do you see this? This is way more like salmon-y color and this one is way more pink. These are not alike in the least bit. I mean, they're not even in the, the same ballpark. I don't know if you guys can tell because with the sun setting here, it's kind of difficult, but. So keeping in that, obviously this was the Candy K. I took out my Lime Crime Bleached. Out of all the colors I have, this one is the closest and this one is still more orange than that one. I don't have anything in my collection that looks like this um, Candy K that I'm currently wearing. To show you, this is Candy K by Kylie Jenner. This one is Clueless by ColourPop and this one is bleached by Lime Crime. You can see they're all different. The thing that's crazy about these lip liners too is obviously you can't open stock them, you can't buy them individually, but the ColourPop pencils are only $5. So that's a good alternative if you couldn't get your hands on one of these kits. If you wanna touch on these ingredients, uh, I don't wanna spread any further rumors like a lot of people tend to do. Um, I mean, you can obviously see by the ingredients for yourself that that's completely off basis. It's not even remotely the same. Ingredients are listed in its highest concentration to its least concentration on labels. So while they may share the exact same ingredients like the Lime Crime Velveteens almost and these, you can see that they're not in the same order, so they are going to wear different. And you can see just applied maybe that this Lime Crime Velveteen is a lot more liquidy and this one has like some moussier edges on the side while it's drying. Again, um, I highlighted the ingredients in corresponding colors, so when you see the green, those are the two that are most similar. The reason that's done is for the exact reason that they need to be able to make some kind of claim that the formula varies a little. So the idea to me that she was developing these for two years when she could have reverse engineered a liquid lipstick that she really liked for $10,000, $10, 12 grand, to find the exact concentration and the formula of it seems a bit ridiculous to me. Also, she's not a cosmetic chemist, so I don't know why she would have been working on it for two years. I don't know. You guys get what I mean. It's like, just pick a color swatch. <laughs> That's pretty much all I have to say about these guys right now. I will see you in another four hours. Hey guys, so it is 7.02, roughly eight hours after initial application of this lipstick. As always, I will zoom in to show you the wear. First, let me tell you what I ate. Since my last check-in, I had a glass of water out of a straw and I also had um, a taco veggie salad that I cut up and ate in small pieces. There wasn't any dressing on it, but there was some salsa on it. This color is fairly close to my own natural lip color. So when I zoom in, you will have to look to see in this middle part right here, it's pretty much gone and it is starting to get a little peely but not much if you can see right in here see that like that's the color of my own lips right in here and then there i have my list printed up as always uh, i got some new uh, plugins for my editing software so um the list will look a little more uniformed and in straight lines now besides me having to cut and paste each one over there as always guys where i rank these is going to be determined on the kiss test and how they layer i did want to touch real quickly before the kiss test i've gotten a few people now i think i saw somebody with a video i can't remember who mentioned that when they line their lips and where they kiss off they thought that it had something to do with the lip liner. It's a distinct possibility it can, depending on how waxy the lip liner is possibly, but my whole test with these is every single brand I use a lip liner and I, 
I do it the same way. Some transfer, some do not. So I've got to assume, you know, 99% of the time I use MAC, MAC lip liners. And so, I mean, it could. I mean, a couple of them I have used my OCC. So it could have some kind of bearing on that. But I don't think it's going to have that much of a difference on it. And it's certainly not going to affect it where it's wearing away in here. And I do see it transfer on the outsides like that. It's never like a perfectly thin rim where I put the lip liner. There's always a little more to it. What I truly believe it is, is that it hasn't had an opportunity to wear away up there yet because I'm eating on the middle of my mouth. So that area is really left untouched. So when I do the kiss test, that's really where the majority of the product is still left. Just my thoughts on it. This has remained pretty comfortable to wear. I mean, I you kind of forget you have it on a little bit, although I will say the corners right here and then right in the middle just are slightly dry, nothing weird. So nothing on the back of my hand. Transfer, do you see this over here? And that is way more than just the outside of my lips. It's pretty big on the inside. I know it's hard to see with the lights. Okay, so let me see how this layers. Let me get up on my foot here. So you see where it's worn away right in here? Okay, that layered pretty well. I do have a few flakes, but nothing really bad. I'm gonna rank these at number six and bump everything Stila and below. It actually pains me to do that. I was kind of hoping that these suck because their customer service sucks so bad. If it came to ranking these based on my shipping experience, customer service really kind of being, I mean, I don't know, deadbeats, I would rank these dead last. But since they do wear well and they're fairly comfortable, I'll put it up there at number six, although their shade selection I think sucks right now. I mean, you only have three. I'm sure she will come out with more. I'm all for women getting their hustle on and being entrepreneurs and, uh, you know, making money. I have to say, um, not like it's my place, uh, the Kardashian empire really does nothing for me. I find a lot of those women, how they portray themselves in the media is to be kind of like on their shows and stuff, kind of airheads. Um, I just have to question why, and even if it's just acting for the show, why would you ever want to act dumb? I don't, I don't know. They are gorgeous women. I mean, they're drop dead gorgeous. There's really no arguing or debating that. Um, I just, I don't know. I just, they don't do anything for me. Given that and the crappy shipping on these. I won't be purchasing any more. I mean, they did rank okay, but with the cost, the cost is astronomical. And again, their customer service completely sucks. Now that this is dried down too, I do want to zoom in to show you where it did layer. You'll see. See in there where you can see the difference? Kind of see the texture. For those of you that really tried to get them and you couldn't, I really don't feel like you're missing out on anything because there are a lot of brands out there that have comparable formulas to this. As you can see in my list, I have five above this that don't transfer at all, that are very comfortable as well, Beauty Bakery being slightly dry as well as Lime Crime. I hope you guys have found this review helpful. Thank you so much for tuning in and I will see you next time, guys. Bye.